This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. A patient who is a former smoker is enrolled in a low-dose CT lung cancer screening program. A lung nodule is seen on her initial scan. What are the chances that this is a lung cancer? In this article, the investigators use findings from large screening trials to identify factors associated with malignancy on follow-up of nodules first found on low-dose CT screening. They sampled people with at least 30 pack years of current and former smoking who were between 50 and 75 years of age. If nodules were identified on the low-dose CT scans, nodule size and location in the lung were recorded. Participants were followed with repeat low-dose CTs until all nodules were stable for at least two years, resolved, developed benign characteristics, or were found to be either benign or malignant based on biopsy or surgical resection. Data from a first set of patients were validated in a follow-up cohort. In the first cohort, with over 2,500 participants, 7,000 nodules were found. 102 patients had lung cancer. Generally similar data were found in the validation study. But what is the risk that an individual nodule is cancer? Nodule size was associated with lung cancer in a nonlinear way. 5 millimeter nodules had about a 2 in 1,000 chance of being cancer, while 10 millimeter nodules had a risk of about 2 in 100, and 20 millimeter nodules had a risk of about 1 in 10. A fourfold increase in nodule diameter was associated with more than a 50 fold increase in cancer risk. Cancers were more commonly observed in the upper lobes. Nodule counts were lower when cancer was present. And a key finding was that in over 4,000 patients in both cohorts, not a single perifissural nodule turned out to be cancer. The authors provide a calculator to determine the risk that a given patient has lung cancer based on the characteristics of the nodules observed. Although the approach to each patient must be individualized, these data provide guidance for the physician in making decisions about nodules identified on low-dose CT screening.